Hi, my name is Marie. In my last reel, I shared how the reclassification of HGB flats recently would impact the seller. Today, as a promise to continue with part 2, I'll be sharing how it would impact the buyer. With both plus and prime flats facing tougher restrictions, especially with the 10-year MOP and the clawback of grants upon sale to a second-hand buyer, you may want to rethink about your options if you still want to buy into a plus or prime flat location. With 10-year MOP in mind, that would really mean your hopes and dreams of upgrading to a future of buying a private property or to buy into a real estate investment either for future reselling or for rental would have to come with a 10-year wait. Meaning if you were to buy such a HDB flat at 28 years old, you'll be 38 years old before you can consider upgrading to a private property or a bigger resale HDB flat. So you may ask me, Marie, what are the other options I could consider then? Well, you could have these three options to consider. Number one, buy into a private property right away. However, you need to set aside a higher budget and be prepared to take a mortgage loan that can sustainably service you till you sell off your property. So what is the upside of this option, you may ask? It is an upgrade in both status and future wealth creation because private property and HDB are truly two distinct classes of assets. Both will grow in value, but private property's growth trajectory is almost always higher than that of a resale HDB flat. With that said, I'd like to reiterate that most ministers have already mentioned before that HDB flats is not meant for investment. It is a basic home that the government would like to keep affordable for all social classes so that every Singaporean can have a roof over their heads. Number two, consider buying an executive condo, also known as the EC. Now, this is a special hybrid class of asset introduced to the real estate scene to cater to the young Singaporeans who have a desire to have condo amenities within their gated and guarded estate. Amidst other eligibility criteria, I'd like to highlight these. Those eligible to buy an EC must have at least a Singaporean in their home ownership and a 16,000 combined income ceiling without prior ownership of private property. If you are constrained by budget for a bigger private property home, then buying an EC is a step up board for you as you continue to progress in your asset acquisition. Number three, you can also consider buying a standard HDB flat in the resale market. The one that is situated in the plus or prime flat area might be pricier, but you might just get one that you like with a competitive negotiated price among the 1.1 million of choices available at the moment. However, do note that the CAGR is definitely lower than that of a private property. If you need to seek future and further clarity over buying choices because everything just seems too much to take in, just connect back with me and I'll be glad to do a free asset assessment for you.